Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Broyne's Farm. So today is Memorial Day. So the first thing I wanted to say was thank you to all the men and women out there who have served for our country. And second of all, I am now in the berry field. And like I said a couple days ago in my last previous video, we didn't want to do a lot of work. So all we did basically today was just unload truck. Ben and Frank did a little bit of mowing and Sammy and Ben also tied the tomatoes. Um, and now I'm out in the berry field because we're starting to see a lot, not a lot, but a couple of red berries. Um, the ones that are here are just about ready or are ready, but there's a lot like these right here that are probably gonna need, I would say, between three and five days yet. And there's a lot between that three and five day range. You can see them all here. So this variety here, I don't exactly know the name. I'd have to go back in the books and look, but I love this variety because it doesn't get a lot of berries, but the berries that are on it are all like at least inch, inch and a half diameter. Um, and they're just a good tasting, huge berry. So what we're thinking is, today is Monday. We're thinking by Friday, we're gonna open up to UPIC. Now, we're usually really busy the first weekend, so there's a chance we could get picked out because like I said, the berries are nice, but there's not a ton of them. And also another factor that's gonna hurt us is we had some plants not come up, which I've explained to you before. So with sections like this, people are gonna be able to go through them pretty fast and pick them off. So it ain't the worst thing. We like to have, we'd rather have them picked off than see them rot on the, on the uh, plant because then that's just a shame. If we notice that there is a ton of them, usually we'll get a ton of our guys up here and we'll pick them because we can sell a lot of them at our farm market. But, you know, we're open to you pick. We'd rather have the customers pick them. So hopefully everything goes well. Like I said, we're thinking Friday. If you live around here, we're gonna be opening up. I'm gonna put a post on Facebook here pretty soon. And if you do plan on coming, definitely come early because like I said, this first, at least this first section here isn't, there isn't a lot of plants here, but the berries here are gonna be enormous and they are just gonna be great for whether you're making chocolate covered strawberries or strawberry shortcake, whatever. You're not gonna need a lot of them to fill a bucket, I can tell you that, so be ready. So I've been asked quite often to take you guys out to the farm market and show you what's going on out here. Now today we are closed, but I did just get out here because my mom wanted me to come out and water our greenhouse. So this is our greenhouse. It's not even probably half the size of our greenhouses at home, but this is what we have out here. My parents got it. When we first put up the market, my parents actually bought this off a guy who already had it up and they had to take it down and then rebuild it out here at our farm market. And the reason that it works nice here is because it kind of just fits perfectly into our parking lot. Now, I would like to get another one out here because I'm always a big believer of stack it high, watch it fly. You know, if you have three or four of something versus having 10 or 15 of something, I just feel like, you know, people like to see that. They like to see the big displays and they're just more, um, I don't know what the word is, they're just one, they'd, they'd rather buy more of something when they see more of it rather than when there's only one or two. So this is what we got going on out here. Now, keep in mind, the season is coming kind of to an end now. We're sold out of a lot of stuff. So it's not as full as what it was. We did have one, two, three, four, actually, yeah, over four rows of hanging baskets. And now we're down to like not even two full rows. So here's our geranium. It's just like back home. But yeah, now you can see all the signs. We have everything for sale. Scented geraniums. Here we have one Bacopa left. Some New Guinean patients. Sun patients. Here's a couple of Verbena. A couple of the, um, oh, I can't think of the name. Fuchsias, Gerber daisies. Uh, Vinca vine. A couple of the Fucra. Some Prince Tut. Over here we have some zinnias. These ones just aren't coming out in bud yet, they're real close. Here's our last two sweet potato vine. And then some lantana, Dusty Miller, Coleus, um, Portulaca, Verbena, Balloon Flowers, Cone Flowers, oh, um, uh, Lupines, Sunflowers, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, potted tomatoes, and then overall on that whole side is all of our uh, vegetable plants, 
um, hot pepper plants, herbs like basil, thyme, parsley, rosemary, oregano, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really nice setup we have in here. It's just not a lot. I like, and like I said, I like to have more. And once we have more, or when we did have more, we had this thing stocked completely full. It was almost hard to walk around. We like to have nice aisles for people to walk, but we also want it to be as full as we can get it. So like I said, it kind of looks a little bit empty, but that's only because we're running out of stuff now. So then I'm going in the side door here of our market. Now all the lights were on. I did come in and turn them on just to show you guys what we have going on in here. And so, like I said, it's empty. Nobody's here. We're not open today. But I'll just kind of do a little walkthrough and show you guys what we have. Over here is kind of like our jarred stuff. Um, like we have, I mean, I'm not, and I'm also not out here a lot. I'm always on the farm. So, you know, like I can name everything in that greenhouse and I can name everything on the farm. But when it comes to this stuff out here, you know, I'm not as familiar with it. So bear with me. Here we have like our vinegars, oil, stuff like that. Here it looks like pancake mixes, shortcake mixes, stuff like that. Because now stra strawberry season's coming and then, you know, before you know it'll be peach and apple season. Here's all of our jellies. I did get here a lot of good things about like this bear jam. That's a real popular one. Um, here's just like regular grape jelly. And then here is fruits of the forest jam, frog jam. And the frog stands for fig, red raspberry, orange, and ginger. Um, elderberry jelly, red raspberry preserves. I'm not gonna read everything off. Applesauce. Here is pickled garlic. I think that sounds disgusting, but it looks really nice in the jar. Here, up here is like cucumber, dill dressings, balsam balsamic vinaigrettes. Over here is all like canned goods. There's peaches and green tomatoes, pepper relish. Here's our chip rack. I'm here almost, whenever I come, I get a hoagie, I'm always at this chip rack. Here's like uh, pretzels and stuff like that. Don't forget to like, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Growing's Farm. Here is Hunter that used to work on the farm. Here is all his stuff that he sells out here. He makes all this stuff by hand. And then over here, here's a nice PA preferred sign. Um, over here is, like we had this all stacked up nice for Memorial Day. That way, you know, anybody going to parties can stop, grab, can stop, come in, grab a bag, and go if they're in a hurry. These are really, really good. Cheese cheddar pretzels, combos. And my mom likes to have different stuff out here because we are a farm market and country store. She doesn't like to have everything that's gonna be like in a grocery store. So some of the stuff you might never have heard of or might never have seen, but it's actually really good. And actually, sometimes it's more expensive just because, you know, it's better quality than what you're gonna find in the grocery store. So here's like sweet potato chips, just regular chips, um, party snacks, um, some, it looks like left from, I don't know if these are left from Easter. Um, like little chocolate eggs, colored popcorn, M&Ms. I'm actually eating a bag of these right now. Ranch flavored veggie chips. I'm not a big fan of like veggie, all that kind of veggie healthy stuff, but they're actually really good. Um, cheese curls over here. We're getting, kind of getting low on our honey. We only have two, or actually a couple other ones here on the side. Two five pound jars left. Um, over here is kind of like newspapers. A lot of local businesses will put their stuff up on the wall here. Um, then let's go over to here. Here's our grab and go quick drink uh, section if people want to just come in and go. Got all of our teas. Um, there's lemon tea, green tea, iced, uh, iced tea, lemonade. Um, here's these watermelon coconut slices. These are actually really good. I've, you know, I've had to taste test every, mostly everything out here because you know, off and on I'm in, I'm in here, I want a snack. I always like to grab something new because I want to see how it tastes. Here, these are new, I've never seen these before. Let me get these out, 275 each. Ice cream lollipops, that actually looks really good. Never seen anything like that before. Um, over here is kind of like our um, little goodie section right here. Sugar cookies for Memorial Day, Jill probably made. Muffins, candy cake and scones chocolate chip cookies, here's other stuff. And it's always made fresh daily. Here is our snack rack. These are pretty cool. These are like 
chocolate rocks. I mean, not like they are chocolate rocks. They look like actual rocks, though. Um, peanut M&Ms, all this. This is kind of like the different stuff, you know, like assorted fruit slices, um, gummies. When I used to be in school, my friends would rave over those gummies. Um, here's uh, like fruit basket chocolates. Gummy worms come around over here. Here's more goodies. Here is uh, chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Chocolate covered pretzels. Um, granola. Here is your syrups. Oatmeals. Pancake mixes. More syrups. All sorts of noodles. There's spaghetti noodles. I'm not a big cook, so I don't know all these kind of noodles, but there's like bow ties, regular elbow macaroni. Now I'll come over here on this side. Now this is where I'm really not familiar. So you've got like your vegetable base, vegetable fav flavored soup bases. Um, I'm not sure what these are. I know you throw them in like your soups. Beef bouillon cubes. Um, and all this stuff here. I'm not even going to read off because I'm just going to sound dumb when I'm talking about it. Bread crumbs, cracker meal, black cherry juice. Over on this side is our chocolates um, and wafers. We have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, green chocolate. I'm not sure if the green and red chocolate here has a different flavor, but it looks really cool. I wanted to try it. I told Jill I wanted her to make something with it. Um, chocolate chip cookie, no, chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chips, um, whatever these are. Wilbur Milk Chocolate Buds. They look pretty good, actually. And then you've got your Jello, yeah, Jello mixes. And then we got our flowers down here at the bottom. Here's other flower. There's raw. Oh no. Here is buckwheat flour, raw sugar, rye meal, Dominic granulated sugar, more raw sugar. Um, there's more buckwheat over here. We have King Arthur flour. Sourdough bread mix, Bob Red Mill, gluten-free all-purpose flour, all sorts of stuff. I mean, we've got a lot, got a lot. Um, and we actually sell, like, to me, I'm like, mom, who would buy this stuff? And actually, it's a big hit. Like, people have gotten to know what this stuff is and they use it and they really like it and they come back again and again because, you know, they can't find this kind of stuff a lot of other places. So then over here we have our sugars, um, pearl barley. Over here, it's probably one of my favorite sections. My pap built this, um, it's our spice rack. And so basically any kind of spice or whatever you're using, we've got it. Um, I'll kinda, I'm only gonna read a couple. There's like dill seed, fennel seed, uh, ground ginger, chicken rub, marjoram leaves, pumpkin pie, spice, rosemary, turmeric, there's a couple more here on the bottom. That just looks really nice. I like that a lot. Over here is where, well, everybody bakes, but Jill loves to bake and she does a lot of the baking. Here's where we make all of our pies and muffins and cookies and all that kind of stuff. Now this is all we have left from Sunday. So this will probably be sold now on Monday and then, you know, she'll make, I mean, uh, today is Monday. She'll, this'll, this is what's left from Sunday, and now she'll make again a whole new batch on Tuesday because this will probably go right in the morning. A couple that we grow, uh, grow. A couple that we make is chocolate chip, black bottom, coffee cake. There's just like a vanilla with vanilla icing and sprinkles. Butter rum, more chocolate chip. Pistachio, never had a pistachio. Cranberry nut, blueberry, and there's a couple others I'm not 100% sure about. Over here is our hoagies. In here is, this is our prep table. This is where we make all of our hoagies. You know, you got all your cheeses, roast beef, turkey, ham, all that bologna, and then all sorts of cheeses and lettuce. On the wall here is um, our nice sign. Kaisers are 425, eight inch hoagies are 550. Here is some of what we offer to put on your hoagie. But what makes it really simple is we have these slips right here, which is my absolute favorite. And people can just come in, they grab their pen, 
and they write their name and they can just, you know, circle Hoagie or Kaiser. Now, if I was going to fill it out, I'd be Hoagie, Turkey, American Cheese, Mayo, Lettuce, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you just rip it off, let it sit here, and one of our workers will make that for you. And usually, now we do get pretty busy, but usually you can have your Hoagie within five no longer in 10 minutes, usually. A lot of times what we like to do is we like to tell people to call in because especially when it gets between like 11 and one, we get a lot of orders, a lot of people come in and you know, if we have a heads up, we can get it made and then there's no waiting at all. Over here is our, another sign, this is for our ice cream. We used to hand dip ice cream, but because we can't get enough workers to help and it takes a lot of time, we only sell it by the quarts and pints now. Here is, I can get it out. Here is a couple varieties that we have. Um, cookie dough. And these are all made from a local ice cream shop. Um, peanut butter, Oreo, chocolate peanut butter, cookie dough, old fashioned cherries and cream, chocolate, milk house classic eggnog, coffee, all sorts of stuff in there. And it makes it simple, you know, somebody comes over and says they want it. We can just pull it out for them and then they can buy it. Simple, we give them a spoon if they want a spoon, that way they can eat it you know, here or on their way home, whatever. And then I think that's it for back here, except for the deli case. Here is you know, all of our sliced meat and cheeses that we sell, hard salami, smoked turkey breast, German bologna, Parmesan, hot dogs, bacon, turkey bacon, Cooper cheese, American cheese, roast beef, Apple wood smoked ham, and then ham water added. Not 100% sure what that is or what that means, but I'm sure you guys who buy that kind of stuff know. Back here is kind of like our little merch section. We have all of our shirts and sweatshirts. I am getting very low on hats. I only have one hat left. So, I mean, we have long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, which I am, I need to get more out here. And then, you know, all sorts of colors, white, yellow, actually not yellow. Of course, I said yellow, we don't have yellow. White, green, pink, blue, black. Here is our drink cooler. You know, we have all sorts of sodas. Here's some new soda that we got. It's got our logo on it, really cool glass bottle. Um, the cap is resealable, not like, you know, you pop it off. You, you don't need a bottle opener, you can just twist it off and you can twist it back on if you're not using it. Tastes delicious. And that's probably one of my favorite go-to sodas now, even though I'm not a huge soda drinker. And our milk cooler is kind of getting low. We're gonna get a new, um, shipment here i think on tuesday well tuesday or wednesday it'll come but like you can see we only have three two of the small chocolate milks and then you know the mid-size and the big we have and we sell all sorts we sell raw milk which is right there we sell whole milk two percent and then skim all of our eggs are farm fresh from a local farmer and then here is joe's tea joe's tea is definitely one of my favorite teas. The peach is just absolutely delicious. And then there's some fresh baked pies. And I think that's about it. Besides right here on Thursdays, and I think Thursdays through Sunday or something. So there's at least starting Thursday, we have hot dogs, regular and cheese. And then in here is uh, like cheese curds and stuff. Um, White Knight Family Farm cheeses that they make. And then we also make our own potato salad and macaroni salad, which is really delicious. And then here, you know, you have your chocolate, your hot chocolate and your coffee. And then this is kind of new. We got this last year, a slushy machine. Obviously right now it's in liquid form, just being chilled. We'll turn it on again Tuesday and then that'll come to a slushy and then people can just, you know, buy them as they would like. And that is everything besides <laughs> one more thing. Um, my cousin actually makes all this stuff. Uh, her name's Rochelle Wodershek, right there is the information. Um, and so she makes all this kind of soap. The name is called Pixie Soaps, right there, if it focuses. And she makes like bath bombs and um, just regular soaps, here is tack butter, um, all sorts of stuff. I'm not extremely familiar with it, but I know a lot of people buy it. It's a pretty big hit. So that's her little table we have here. And then this is completely it besides 
our you know our vegetables that we don't have out because they're in our cooler is like our canning supplies um, we have jars and lids bread and butter pickles pasta sauce guacamole seasoning classic salsa so that is it that is the most that is the biggest part of our farm market we do sell out front we have you know straw and hay bagged corn um, we do have wood now we sell so you know we do have quite a bit even though you know you kind of walk in here and right there is one end of our market and right there is the other end so i mean our market isn't huge but it's definitely it feels like you're at home when you come in here we definitely have a lot to come and look at and see and buy i mean if you haven't been here and you have the chance to get here you should definitely stop in sadly i'm not usually here you know to say hello talk to you i did have a couple people come in they asked for me um i wish i could be here i wish i could talk to everybody but the problem is is right now we're getting extremely busy on the farm and that's just where all my time is at so anyway even if i'm not here it's a great time to come out here even if you grab a little snack or a hoagie come support us or support any local farmer i mean it's just a huge deal especially in these times so that's what i'm going to call it a wrap for this video so as always thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much but it's honest work